Did I ever tell you the story about the great Valentine mix-up at the toy castle? They were getting ready to party. Hey, wouldn't it be terrible if nobody gave me a Valentine? That would never happen, they said. But everyone was thinking to themselves, what if I didn't get a valentine? Time to get ready! The whole mix-up started with the clown. He brought a valentine for the ballerina. In his mind, he saw how happy she would be with his beautiful red valentine. The China doll was always early to parties. Who could this be for, she wondered. The card said, Beautiful dancer, be my valentine. She was a beautiful dancer. She was sure the clown had sent it to her. Next, the soldier came to the party early with a valentine for... Guess who? Yep, the ballerina. He had signed it to the best from someone who likes you. came back to see if the ballerina got his gift. His gift was gone. <laughs> but there was a yellow balloon. Clown color. <laughs> it could only be for him. He read the note. For the best from someone who likes you. He was the best? It must be for him. And from who else? must be from the ballerina. The China doll had brought the clown a valentine. He would know it was from her because it was pink. <laughs> and everyone knew that her favorite color was pink. The ballerina knew right away. A pink balloon could only be from her dear friend, the China doll. And she had brought a blue balloon for her. 
The soldier came back to see if the ballerina liked his gift. A blue balloon. Only the ballerina would do that. For my dear friend. <laughs> no doubt, that was him. And that's where the mixed up part got all fixed up. Everyone was so happy they received a valentine that no one gave it another thought. The important thing was that they were all friends. And to this day, only you and I know the whole story. Frida and Frederick always had Valentines together. Maybe it was because they were twins that they did everything together, but they even made their Valentines heart together. How they enjoyed all the little things they did together, like their funky, funky Frog-a-Doodle Five. Are we here having tea again? They always had tea. Well, he was tired of tea. But this was cold afternoon tea. What else would one have? Milk. He wanted milk. Milk? No one had ever heard of afternoon milk. Frida just poured his tea anyway. Tea time! So, Frederick refused to do the Funky Funky Frog-a-Doodle 5. So, she stomped back and grabbed all the cookies and stuffed them in her mouth. The cookies? You ate all the cookies? Tell me you didn't eat all the cookies. My mouth is full. He was so mad at her that he wanted to do something just as mean. The sugar! You ate all the sugar! Uh-huh. You know I can't drink tea without sugar. Uh-huh. Hmm. Hmm. It's mine! It's mine! I made it! I made it! And you know what happened next? The Valentine heart was ripped in half. The soldier and ballerina had had a lovely Valentine's Day. That was odd. Frida out by herself. They had never seen Frida without Frederick. That was odd. Frederick out by himself. They had never seen Frederick without Frida. The soldier decided he would talk to Frederick. Just the person the ballerina was looking for. And so the two girls walked and talked, as friends do. Frida told her how mad she was at her brother. She didn't even like him anymore. 
perhaps forever. And so the boys walked and talked. Frederick told him how mad he was at his sister, and how he didn't even like her anymore. Perhaps forever. Yeah. She had to talk to the soldier. The soldier and ballerina had a great idea. They would tell the frogs not to talk to each other. Then they might realize how much they missed each other. Afternoon tea with the ballerina wasn't as much fun as having it with Frederick. Afternoon milk with the soldier wasn't as much fun as having it with Frida. Oh, no! Remember, you are mad at her. Perhaps forever. Oh no! Remember, you are mad at him. Perhaps forever. The ballerina was no frog. Frida was so sad, she just wanted to be alone. The soldier was no frog. Frederick was so sad, he just wanted to be alone. The soldier and ballerina were pleased. It was working just as they hoped it would. They were so happy to see each other that they did their funky, funky Frogadoodle Five. What do you say we get together and have afternoon tea? Are we having tea again, sister dear? Tea and milk. But before they took a sip, there was one more thing they had to put together. And it was a perfect fit. Perhaps forever. Subscribe to the Toy Castle and make sure to click on the notification bell to find out first when new videos are posted.